Uh, you know, when I heard they was making a dirt track out of this, it teed me off. <laughs> because I won the last dirt track. And now I won't be the last dirt track winner. So that, taking that part away. But, uh, you know, from uh, the PR standpoint, for something different, uh, NASCAR has changed a lot of stuff this year. We've been, what, seven, six or seven road courses, which we've never done before. And then when they throw the dirt track, uh, NASCAR is going to look completely different. So, uh, you know, from that standpoint, it's going to be very interesting, I'll put it that way, because a lot of these guys have never run dirt, and we don't have dirt track cars. Our cars are, you know, asphalt cars. They're road race cars, so that part's going to be interesting. But, uh, you know, being able to work with Food City for all these years, I mean, they've been coming up here almost as long as I have. You know what I mean? And uh, because I, I came for the first race they ever had up here. The track was flatter. Then after a while, they banked it up a little bit. Then I come back and see it dirt. I didn't really realize the banks were that much. That everything kind of fades in when you walk in with the cement there, but all of a sudden you see that. But, uh, you know, uh, we got to talking to Steve here about, you know, doing something at the racetrack and dirt track, and then, uh, you know, the tide deal came up, and I said, I mean, you can't beat that. There's going to be a bunch of dirty people leaving here, <laughs> and they're going to need a bunch of tide to clean herself up. So they couldn't have picked a a better race to uh, to come back in. Uh, you know, they used to be here all the time. And, you know, we really appreciate them being here. In fact, when uh, uh, Victory Junction Camp was built, uh, I donated a building, put all the uh, washing machines, dryers, and all that stuff in it, and uh, still furnish all the products it takes to clean the deal. So we're obligated to that deal, and they've, they've done a good job there. But uh, hopefully that, uh, you know, after some of us older guys remember the tide cars and stuff. Uh, you know, maybe we can uh, come come back and, and win some races for tide, and maybe give them interest in coming back and racing for more than just one or two races. So, uh, all in all, again, we're we just think this is going to be a great opportunity for us at uh, Richard Petty Motorsports. You know, our driver uh, for Steve here, and for you know for everybody involved, really. So from that standpoint, thank you guys for coming out and let everybody know that if they can't come to the race, they can watch us on TV and uh, they can go out and buy some Tide, okay? <laughs>